Suppose that we're interested in finding the mean of this probability distribution. Remember that the mean of a probability distribution can be calculated by this formula. So let's get the data into R. That's sometimes called munging the data. We can build a vector containing this, the values of x. We'll use the cantonate function to do that. So this command in R is going to take the values 0, 1, 2, and 3, cantonate that, make it into a vector, and store that vector into an object called x. Similarly, let's create a vector called px that'll be the, cor the, the probability corresponding to each of the x values. Again, we will use the px, uh, the, the uh, cantonate function, function to uh, put those into a vector and store them into the object px. Now, this problem did not ask us to verify that this was indeed a probability distribution, but notice that it is. The x values are all distinct, that uh, no x value is ever repeated, and each of the p values are a probability, that is, they're a number between 0 and 1. And finally, we can check to see if the sum of the probabilities is equal to 1. Now that we have the vector px, that's very easy to do. We'll just use the command sum. We'll sum up that vector. Then we can run this script, and you'll notice that the result is 1. Okay, I'm going to re-edit this script because we really don't need that sum. What we are interested in doing is uh, applying this formula. So we'd like to take each one of the x's and multiply each of the x's by its corresponding probability. In R, multiplying two vectors together just does it component-wise, so that will accomplish that first task. We've, we're multiplying each one of the x's. This is a, a, a multiplication sign here. It's a capital eight. So let's uh, execute this script. When we run that, you'll notice that, that x times px takes 0 times 0 0.1 is 0. 1 times 0 0.15 is 0 0.15. 2 times 0 0.4 is uh, 0 0.4 and 3 times uh, 0 0.55 is 1.65. Let's save x times px as xpx as that object. And then let's look at the data frame of that vector x, px, and xpx. And let's run that script. So there's the data frame. Notice that this table is repeated right here. There's the one, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, with the probabilities of each of those. And there's the x, p, x, the product of those. If we were doing this by hand, keeping track of this table would probably be the easiest way to execute this result. Now what we're really interested in is adding up that vector that we've created. We called it x, p, x here. I'm going to uh, edit this script because we really don't need to, uh, to see this data frame. All that we're interested in is actually doing this formula. And so there we've got that vector, x, p, x. So let's look at the sum, the sum of that vector, okay? That value is actually executing this formula right here. It's taking uh, the x, each one of the x's, times the, the probability associated with each of those x's, and then it's adding it up. So that's what we need for this script. Maybe to emphasize that that's all that we're getting here, let's just run the, the script there. 
we're running the script and we're getting a value of 2.3, uh, 2.2. 2.2 is the mean of this probability distribution. 